It's right now. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's Tuesday. Today is Citizenship Day. Yes, uh, we did a big flag ceremony uh, at the school this morning. Yes. We did. Maisie got to hold a flag and she Wonderful. got to do a little dance, and it was, yeah, it was great. Oh, the entire Olson, yeah. Oh, excellent. I was going to take a picture, and then I had to go to an inspection on a house. So oh. I got messed out on I'm that. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. breaking news. I just wanted to quickly mention that last week in our, oh, you know, you our it's four, no. 806 she, Sports she Radio. She picked four, four wins, and, oh. and, I, and I didn't get a single one oh correctly. Oh, and four. Just wanted to see it in writing really quickly. Um, Would you put on, while you're doing that, what was the fantasy football score for last night? Me, 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 <laughs> so me, 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 I beat Megan in fantasy football last night. For the first night, time ever. She is currently congrats. leading me, and I don't know, I don't know what the it's score is. It's 11 to 1. That's 11 to, 11 and 1, and you're like 5 and yeah. 7. Hmm. That's that tough. means I'm genius. Mm. Ask me. Can to I pick have your things. husband start doing my picks for me? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Can I? I mean, he knows this stuff. Can I just start calling him and being like, "Hey, help me out"? Oh, I thought you were saying my husband's picking him for me. No, I want oh. him to pick for me. Oh, okay. No, no, you cannot do that. If you want to marry Cody, you can and have his picks, then you can do his laundry. <laughs> Not doing anybody's laundry. Okay. All right. There so you we go. Have some sweet news to start off uh, with. Yes, did you see that? Yeah, of course you saw this. I just wanted to show the video yeah. from yesterday. Andy got a, a cake to the face. <laughs> oh, I got, I got that's four cupcakes cute. to the face. Tell us about that, AJ. Okay, so a sweet friend of mine who lost her loving daughter to cancer um, called and wanted to see if I'd be willing to do something to raise a little bit of attention to uh, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and that is September. So um, I said, yeah, what do you have in mind? She says, well, there's this thing called um, kick it like a kid challenge. Uh -huh. And I said, well, let's just do it. And so she brought these wonderful families in, some of which we knew. Um, and, and we got to meet some, some new friends and everybody came in and just really loaded me up with icing. <laughs> That's so cute. That's yeah, good. It was, it was a lot of fun and the kids got into it. And so again, it is Childhood Cancer Awareness all Month. September long. We have some wonderful organizations locally. Um, we've got Panhandle Angels, MDK Foundation. Uh, we've got Camp Alfie. Uh, we've got Make-A-Wish. We have a lot of uh, great organizations that reach out and help our kiddos. So I would say uh, make a contribution to those groups and, and continue to make a difference. Um, uh, I've, I've lost friends uh, uh, who have just... Can't, Childhood cancer is just, cancer in general is devastating, but when, when you see a kid, I've been in the room when a kid has gone through chemo, and it's heartbreaking. So anyway, the awareness is out there, so go, go give, think about it. All right, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna go to something a little bit happy yes. right now, shall we? Okay, let's do, do it. Do you remember, so you know, when somebody asks me what my favorite game show is. Yeah, if you could be on any game show, what would it be? Supermarket Sweep. Really? Why? Gosh, do you remember Supermarket Yeah, Sweet? well, they're running down the aisles. And I can't remember oh, the premise behind it. Oh, my gosh. It. Okay, so it's the show's getting rebooted. Comedian Leslie Jones will star in the show. This news comes after she announced that her, she was not going to be on Saturday Night Live anymore. So that's really exciting She got me. bigger than Saturday Night Live. Well, like, I guess, like her yeah. Her career, I felt like, was, like, blown um, up. There are no details on the air date or how it will compare to the original show. In the original, the contestants are asked a series of trivia questions. Then they race around the grocery store with a shopping cart to collect high-dollar goods with a time limit whoever has the most valuable items in their cart wins oh it's just it's the best show it's the best okay. show there is other than studio Four, this cool little show that we call studio Four. yes oh my it gosh it's Monday through Friday right here on KMR local four if from only to I could be on supermarket I think I would be very good at supermarket sweep I would this would I think really? I would be very good at it yes okay I would be yes there are not many things I'm confident about my my success but at. But you can shop. Supermarket sweep, I think I got it. I don't know. Picking uh, college games, you're pretty good at that. I am pretty good at that, 11 Andy. And one? Thank you for noticing. 11 and 1. Thank you for noticing. I'm calling Cody. Netflix announced a huge win in the online streaming video wars. All 180 <gasps> episodes of Seinfeld Yay! coming to Netflix. Even the pirate show, but I don't <laughs> want to be a pirate. <laughs> Um, and they announced this on Monday, striking deal with Sony Pictures. Uh, Netflix will hold the global streaming rights to Seinfeld for five years, starting, unfortunately, in 2021. Oh, we have 21. to wait a long time. Not bad for a show about nothing, right? <laughs> According to Los Angeles Times, which first reported the deal, it's a coup for Netflix after losing shows like Friends and The Office as legacy media companies launch their own streaming services to compete with Netflix. Is it, that Steinfeld is your favorite show, right? Easily. Easily. A bar none, um, it's the show that I, I can watch over and over and over again. Um, the characters, everything about it, love it. So funny. 
Well, that's fun. Now we know what you're going to be doing in 2021 for the next five years. Well, you can get it on Hulu, but you got to navigate through the commercials, and it's really well. Just get the totally free. Annoying. Just get the the no commercial. Well, I'm getting ready to ditch Suddenlink. Oh, you are. To and I'm going to just I'm do always streaming nervous services. Is that Suddenlink is an advertiser. To be really honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do better. Do better. Okay. Ooh, well, I mean, your bill goes up all the time. I know. It, it I fluctuates, know. and when you call in, and there is some frustration there, but I um, know. there you go. Uh, when you eat out uh, at a sit-down restaurant, you typically always tip, right? But what about when you order at a counter? Yeah. Have you? You all know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. The advancement of those customer-facing touchscreen payment systems. Mm -hmm. You know what we're talking about. Um, more people out there are feeling obligated to tip when they might normally not. This includes like small cafes, coffee shops, maybe a bar, point of sale systems with touch screens typically ask if you'd like to tip a certain amount or a percentage. According to a New York Times article, people will tip after they see this system because hitting no tip is visible to the person behind them in the line and at the counter. This idea sparked the question asking, where does it end? Do you tip the rideshare service, your grocery store clerk or a fast food restaurant? I don't know. Um, I don't know what the answer is. I even is. tip when I'm typically if I'm doing carry out and I have the option and there's an option to tip. I, I I normally tip something for just even preparing the food even though you typically didn't serve anything. So anyway, there you I go. mean, you know, here's the thing. If maybe and we I haven't worked in the service industry yeah. in a long time, but if you have to get something, if you put something together for me, I'm not going to give you a 20% tip. Right. But maybe But I'm going to tip you. Like I'll give you a dollar. Okay. If, if you're pouring a beer, I'll give Real you quick. a dollar. Prime example. So when you go to Pondicetta, uh -huh. you know how much we love Pondicetta, mm -hmm. but you go to check out and the tip options are like 40%, 30%, 20%. Twenty percent, and I'm like, oh my gosh! And, and, and I always tip them, but I'm always like, but you have to go all the way down. You have to hit custom, and you have you to have do to, the thing. But if you have a couple of Viking vacations, you're like, thirty percent, and then then you get the bill, and you're like, Ooh. you realize how much, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, but I love them, and I'm so happy you're here. I do too, and but you just have to remember, go down to the custom, go hit the, the custom, custom button, tip. and then you can do whatever. I do that, and so I'm glad that. And you it's do overall that too. cheaper there if you pay in cash anyway. Yeah. It is. There it is. Go. Oh, hey, before we go, Andy, yeah. you have to, I'm sorry. I'm That's okay. Um, I yesterday got a flat tire. It was terrible. You, yeah, you texted me, and I was like, I don't know what to I, do. No, I called my roadside assistants. They said, sorry, we've called everybody on our list. We can't get it. I don't know how to change a tire. Nobody would come to help but me. But it's in a very Co scary part of I-27. That's what the problem the I, was? The I-40, I-27 interchange. It was not a good locale. No, no. Do you think that's what the problem was? No, I just think that, that you called World Side Assistance. And they were like, oh, no, we're not going to help you. Okay, anyways. But luckily. So I called here at the station, and our director, Mario, he's in the control booth right now. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. He came and he changed my tire. It was the nicest thing ever. And it was not an easy thing to do based no. on where your car was. So no. Mario is a and champ. And then also a nice man stopped and helped him out. And it was so lovely. And it restored my faith in humanity. That's all. Okay. I just wanted to say that really quickly. Well, Mario, how about that? Yeah, give Good it job, up. Good job, Mario. Props to Mario. Hey, coming up on the show today, the popular lip sync battle benefiting the...